Let's go, Sarah. Here Welcome we go. to your first diving stations. Diving now, diving now. Ten down, keep 15 meters, and everybody smell great! Friday. It is Friday. September 27th. And that's all we need to know. Stop mouthing what day it is. I did nothing. Yes, I did nothing. you did. We are in our fancy NCL escape rooms. And I look kind of like Haven do slippers. Kung Fu. Oh my gosh. Don't hurt yourself. Wow. 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 <laughs> we are uh, heading today into Halifax, Nova Scotia. So we have some fun, I think we need to call them the Suhek facts. Fun facts from the Suhek binder. Um, some things that we're gonna be doing today. Now the interesting thing is we don't land until- We don't land? Land, yes. Uh, I didn't know this Dock, was a flying ship. Birth, um, until one o'clock today. And then and we're, we're gonna here. be here till 10.30 at night. Damn, we're not late. gonna be out till 10.30 at night. No. I'm I in the city though. I wanna do karaoke tonight, I think. Oh my. So our oh fun facts, or not our fun facts, um, we are getting ready to go to the buffet. We are gonna see, they have a bake contest, so at 10.15, so we're getting ready to go to, to lunch or breakfast so we can make sure we have good seats for it. It is called, because my mom liked watching the cooking shows, it's called the Battle of the Cake Masters. It's like Food it's Network type 10, of thing. Yeah, 10.15 in the atrium, so that should be pretty fun. So as we dive into the Suhek binder, um, we have some information. Facts for Halifax, yeah. Nova Scotia. So here we go, Greg. So, first time. Halifax, we're... officially known as the Halifax Regional Municipality, is the capital of the Canadian province of Nova Scotia. Halifax was a major economic center in Atlantic Canada with a large concentration of government services and private sector companies. Uh, back in December of 1917, so about 100, almost 102 years ago, saw one of the greatest disasters in Canadian history when the SS Mont Blanc, a French Canadian cargo ship carrying munitions, collided with the Belgium relief vessel SS oh Emo in the narrows between Upper Halifax Harbor and Bedford Basin. The resulting explosion, the Halifax explosion, devastated the Richmond district of Halifax killing approximately 2,000 people and injuring nearly 9,000. The blast was, a, was the largest artificial explosion before the development of nuclear weapons. Significant aid came from Boston, strengthening the bond between the two cities. So um, a lot of the surrounding areas were, were flattened and uh, it wasn't as if it was like an instant thing. They could tell that was happening and they were trying to evacuate people um, the train they like managed. Like an atom bomb type of thing yeah. that slowly expands. And they knew there was musicians. They were deserted from the abandoned ship because it was going to explode. There was a train that they managed to stop coming in which would have caused more lives lost. And the sad thing is, is um, the telegraph um, was trying to warn people and he actually perished um, there. And like his last thing was saying like goodbye or something, this is the last comment or something oh my so gosh. yeah windows blew out I mean it was a devastating um, event but Boston before they even heard that there was anything as soon as they heard they didn't wait for any approval for anything they sent ships up here they sent doctors up here so they that was where that bond came from so pretty amazing to that I wasn't even aware of something like that and uh, it seems like every Port that we've gone to, there's been some kind of major fire catastrophe. or catastrophe that has happened there. So we are doing the uh, the amphibious duck tells the uh, duck tour. I forgot about that. Yeah, so this is only about an hour, so we'll see how long it actually. And is. we're eating beaver beaver tails. Mm -hmm. We uh, let's see. Let me see what the tour description of it says. So it is the called the. Harbor Hopper. Yeah, Harbor Hopper. We'll do what the tour desk actually says. Has a little picture of a frog on it, I think, doesn't it? A uh, maybe, yeah, I think so. 
Did I highlight it? That's it's like, what it looks like. All right, this tour was also $59. We're leaving at 4 p.m. It's a Halifax and Harbor Duck Tour. It's a level one, which means there's minimal walking. As soon as you hop aboard one of the famous Harbor Poppers, prepare yourself for a one hour or a fun-filled adventure. Fun it's filled. gonna be cold out on that water. Yep. Possibly, although it's a nice and sunny right now. Your Harbor cold, Hopper though. will take you on a land and water tour of beautiful Halifax <coughs> and its harbor. Your commentator will introduce you to Halifax's finest shops, restaurants, museums, and historic sites. Prepare, prepare yourself for a big splash as the Hopper plunges into the Halifax Harbor. Harbor. Be amazed by Harbor. the Royal Canadian <laughs> Naval Fleet, because you asked do they have a naval fleet, the Royal Canadian Naval Fleet, and the spectacular sights along the waterfront. You'll be dropped off in front of the cruise ship pavilion. Harbor hoppers are not accessible by wheelchair, nor are walkers or strollers permitted. Guests must be able to negotiate 10 stairs to enter and exit the vessels. So the 10 stairs might be a little bit of a concern for my mom. But that's a little bit of an, some information on it. I think she'll be fine as long as she just takes her time to, to get up and down. Um, so that's a little bit about what we have going on. But we have two more fun things that we had planned for today. And as Greg, Greg mentioned, the beaver we tail. have beaver tails, which is close to the loading dock. It's of like a pastry donut. Where, the, um, where we enter onto the ship, that's where beaver tails is. And, and we're and having... We're gonna have to go for some poo poutine. And I believe it's called smokes. And I told Greg he has to order it. If you've seen our live video, he has to order it the way the Canadians do. And as the story goes, how the moose said, poutine. Oh my gosh, so that's not real. When you walk up to the window, you have to say, poutine. No, I am not gonna. Do, you just want me to look silly. <laughs> so that's the start of our day, you guys. Um, yes, can I have some poutine? We hope you enjoy. We're gonna go. What? We hope you enjoy this day with us and uh, come along. Come along for the ride. I just like to mention that I completed my one year of baking uh, training last two weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, this guy helped me out so much. Actually, Please, uh, last two months ago, not last two weeks ago. How about a big round of applause for a cheap pastry, Russell? Good morning, good morning. Come on, everybody, make some noise. This my He trained me so much, and on my last vacation, I was able to put my own bake shop at home. So I'd like to say thank you to him. Thank you very much. How about a big round of applause right here for Russell? Well, so once again, a quick recap. We have this. Uh, what do you call this one again? Whip <laughs> The maraschino cherry, the cherry, the red cherry, and of course the chocolate shavings. But this one is excellent one. Kirsch wash. Yes, guys. All right, we're all set, guys. Here we go. We'll start our battle of the cake master. That's what we. So first we will slice it in the three. Three slices. Three slices. Yeah, three slices. All right. Okay. Like this. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. 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 But you gotta be generous in baking, you know? Yeah. So you need to, you need to, if you like to make it delicious, <laughs> make sure that you put a lot. But I do a little technique when I put the top layer. What I do, I put a hole right here in the middle. <laughs> and then you put, yeah? So it tastes good. That's my feeling. Yeah? So, you said? Like a clock. Rosette. 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 Okay, that's what you call rosette. It's a flower, no? All right. Let's go with rosette brown. now. Brown. How is it? It's like meringue. Okay. Let's go around. Oops. Like a clock. Like this. Why there's a hole on my clock? <laughs> <laughs> because you do not. Okay. 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 Ok
There is a little fort there. It looks like I'm not sure what that is, but there's a lighthouse. We <laughs> we get some more treats. Yep. Oh my gosh, this is. Oh wow. This is Alvin. Well, you might get a knock, mom. Huh? This is our cruise director, Alvin. Alvin oh, was the, the one, one who made yeah. the cake. Yeah. Or the. <laughs> he's the one who did the cake. The one that. The stop the, stop the cake. Oh. He's our cruise director. Oh. Alright, Greg, where are we? We're at Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. This is, Greg, the very first Margaritaville they ever put on the any ship. ship. Alrighty, we're waiting to see if a couple of our friends show up. If they don't. We'll have and a good break we'll lunch. Have a good lunch. Yeah. Besides, so how is that gonna work? Well, it's it's 1895. They said because this is, they always say this isn't recommended to do a specialty dining because it is one of the cheaper ones to pay out of pocket. So it's a three course meal, 1895. And here we are with our friend Dave. Hi, Dave. So we met, if you guys haven't already known, we met Dave on the NCL Bliss. We did a group cruise. and um, we're That was such an awesome him. cruise. It was. And we're excited to be with him again. This is the second meal we've had with you because although we didn't film it, we had the main room dining at Taste? Or was it Savor? One of those. So he's joining him for my Savor. So this is my birthday celebration two days early. So thank you, Dave, for joining us on Happy it. Birthday, thank you. Oh my god, they're like bloody. Dude, this doesn't look right. It looks like something that needs to be checked with the doctor. Oh my god. <laughs> well, look at it. It's like red blood stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> but these are conch fritters that look weird. Oh. We tried to have these at Senor Frogs and Nassau, and they were sold out. Are they good? They're spicy conch balls, fritters, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> but they're good. All right, we are starting on our excursion. It's me, Greg, and Mum. Oh wait, that's well, not my mom. No. It's Dave. It's on the duck boat ride. Yeah. <laughs> We're heading on board right now, We're off gonna ship see right if we now. Get Dave on the trip. Yeah. They just should be fun. So the only requirement of this day is that we have to sing O Canada. What? I don't think oh, so. O Canada. O Canada. That's not how it goes. <laughs> You're off key. It's supposed to go higher. How does it go? Oh Canada. <laughs> oh Canada. Like that. I don't even know what this hell the song goes. Not O oh, Canada. O oh, Canada. <laughs> I shot my dog. And That's I am saying not how I even went. That's not even my scream. <laughs> oh, the dog got shot or something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> my dog got I shot, that and I dog am saying I was sad. And he made a song about it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's our ship. <laughs> the duck ship. There. Yep. There we are. That's what we're going on, guys. Am I gonna get wet on that?
All right, hey, guys. Everybody. So we're on the duck boat right now. Harbor, what is it? Harbor Hopper or something yeah. like that. It's a car kind of thing that turns into a boat. It's already right when it hits the water. That's right. So my mom was afraid that it was too cold for her today. She's actually a little chilly, and she's British, which is really surprising. It's actually warm though right now, and I'm wearing a sweater. And we were able to get Dave on with us, so Dave is going to enjoy us today and hopefully maybe get some. Poutine and some beaver tail a little bit later. So it thanks again, guys. A fun day. Go. You're welcome. There's members of the 78th Highland Regiment, the 5th Battalion, Regiment, and their wives. They're 
all dressed up in period costumes, really a lot of fun. Great way to start a video. So we just got off the famous duck boat. The Harbor Hopper. Ribbit, and they made ribbit. us go ribbit, ribbit throughout the city. No, it was pretty awesome. cool. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. That was fun. Our we next... went out into the ocean. It was weird feeling like you're driving a car into the water. Yeah, and then you're, it was cool. Like actually floating and so then you come back. So our next cool. adventure is we are going to be on a hunt for some poutine. Or as Gregory and says, a beaver tail. poutine. I don't say it that way. And then we're also going to get some beaver tail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could say such a bad joke, but I won't. All right, let's see what we can find, guys. Yeah, and we tail. are here. <laughs> we met up with Kevin and Frank cruising with Wills. Greg showing his support. Yeah, thank you, Greg. Doing Look my at little it. part. Thank you. And uh, awesome day for you guys. Oh yeah, it was a great day. Oh, yeah. great oh day. sorry. Great day. We uh, talked to lots of people today online. We went up to Starbucks. Yep. The sun is out. The skies are blue. How far up is Starbucks? Oh. A 20 minute walk. Uh, it's a 20 oh, minute walk. Little... Straight up. <clears throat> yeah, never mind. We won't, we, won't, yeah. we won't make it. We were like, never mind after we did it. We'll, we'll, we'll never do it again. <laughs> but we had to talk to everybody, so. There you go. And we're going to go right around the corner is Smoke's Poutinery. And then, um, poutine. poutine. And uh, we're going to then get some beaver tails. So we'll catch up with you guys later. Catch you guys back up. If anything, we'll see you tomorrow. Yep. All right. All right. Or in the casino later. tonight. No, it's too late tonight. Oh, we're this going to go later. karaoke tonight. Uh, okay, karaoke tonight. Yep, Bring karaoke. your camera. Karaoke. <laughs> All right, you guys. Here we are going to get us some poutine. You excited? I'm so excited. 
Cont contain yourselves, Let's you guys. And here it is. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like the poutine? The famous traditional poutine with gravy and cheese curds and french fries. Let's see what it tastes like. It's really good. It's like potatoes and gravy with cheese. <laughs> like looks KFC. Good. That looks good. All right, so we oh did my ask, gosh. We asked one of the experts, is it poutine? Or Putin. And they said poutine. She said she likes to say poutine because it sounds better. Yes, it does. All right, so let's get this going here. Okay. It is really good. Really good. First, first time ever. Cool. All right, so we just ate at Smoke's Poutinery. This is some poutine. We had, this is a really cool area. And now we're on our way to get some beaver tail. You know, I, I must admit, though, I am a little upset with Dave, though. Why's that? Because we have Dave's lobster, and he didn't give us any free <laughs> lobster. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> and look what we got the here, guys. Tail. We got ourselves some oh beaver tail. That's all sugar. We got ourselves some beaver tails here. This is called a triple trip. And we won't say what it looks like. <laughs> it's got I I said it about 10 times chocolate, peanut butter, and Reese's Pieces. All right, Greg, you gotta watch it. See what you think. The anticipation. My God! It's different. It's good. It's like a pastry with chocolate and chocolate and chocolate. Pieces, here. pieces. So your lips. It's kind of messy, but it's good. I wouldn't eat a whole one by myself, though. <laughs> now, Dave, you had the classic. Which was just what? Just cinnamon on nope. top? No other sauce in it or anything? Nope. How was that? It was good. Is that your first beaver tail? Eat it New York pizza stuff? Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you doing a dance because you have to go bathroom now because you ate all that chocolate? <laughs> okay, what do you think? You're just eating it. Sorry guys, he's making you wait for his comments. It's different. It's fried bread? Is that what it is, Yeah. Yeah, basically. You can, it's almost like an American Indian bread. It's good. I like All it. All right, we're gonna enjoy it. All right guys, so we are heading back on to the ship. What did you think of our day in Halifax, Nova Scotia? It's awesome, it was a lot of fun. Duck tour was cool. Like it? Yep. The I always think I forget the name of it. Something Hopper. Harbor, Harbor Hopper. Yep. Um, that they was got fun. Heaters out here. That's cool. And uh, we had a good time with trying poutine as well as beaver a beaver tail. tail. Pretty successful day. So we're gonna. There's a little bit of a shopping area before we get on the ship. We're gonna check that out. I have to get one little thing from Halifax. Yeah. I'm gonna go back up on the ship, so uh, we'll catch you guys up. But we had a great day here catch on the in flip side. Halifax, Nova Scotia. Dilly dilly, day day. Like when you come into outside of the cruise port area, or actually it's still in the cruise port, but a lot bigger area than they did have over in St. John's. So we'll see what they have here. Hello, Hello explorers. explorers. <coughs> We're gonna recap. Our fun time that we had on yesterday. Friday. Let's give Greg a little bit 
of a little bit more. It's a little warm this morning. It is. We're, I'm actually we're both wearing shorts, so it mm -hmm. is. So to end the video, Greg, um, your thoughts on Nova Scotia, Halifax, Halifax Nova Scotia, and Canada, uh, and your happy moment of the day. I like the duck boat um, going into the water, and actually, it kind of makes you feel like how it would feel like to drive a car into <laughs> the ocean, I guess without actually, like, not floating. I was talking to Cyril, I think you were there afterwards, and he was saying that the the duck vehicle doesn't have any shocks on it. So it's and Cyril was the, the driver. driver. And then um, there was something else about it. <clears throat> oh yeah, it was noisy, it was really noisy, but I did listen to some of the video that I've already recorded from it, and it actually, you can hear the talking quite a bit. I was, I, did, I thought either the wind or the, noise of the engine was going to make it too hard to videotape. It was hard to hear them, it hear was, her though. Yeah, it was harder for us, I think. And we were right in the front. <laughs> we so. did, um, just so you know guys, if you decide, oh, we can, we'll, we'll do that part yesterday. If you decide to, um, at your dinner, if you want to get a, a bottle of wine, which is always less expensive than buying a glass, they will give you a ticket, which is about this much longer. They recork it for you. They'll tear it off. They'll store it for you, so then when you go to your next restaurant, get it you back. Ticket, and they'll give you the same glass because they use a, a the one same, storage system for everyone. You get the same everywhere. bottle, same, same, bottle. same glass. Same bottle. Sorry, that'd be disgusting <laughs> if you got the same glass. Um, Here's a used glass for you. We don't know whose it is. Um, your happy moment of the day was the duck, the duck boat, and watching yours truly, Derek sing at karaoke last night. Oh, well, that was awesome. <laughs>